Hey there, and welcome to the Crazy Blessed Show. I'm your host, Hannah Keeley, and today is Monday. And guess what that means? It's going to be an awesome day. Isn't every Monday an awesome day? Well, sometimes, but today is an awesome day because it's Master Mom Monday. This is where we have a mom on the Crazy Blessed Show who is rocking her life, kicking butt, taking names, and she's going to tell you about how she's doing it. So today we have Cara Devlin, an amazing woman who had something pretty significant happen in her life, a crisis. It occurred in her life, but guess what? She was ready for it. And she's going to share how she dealt with that and overcame it in today's episode of The Crazy Blessed Show. Cara, it is so good to have you here today. You are such a blessing and an inspiration to so many people. How are you doing today? I am doing fabulous, Hannah. How are you? I am great now that we're sharing the same space, girl. I just love being in your presence. You have an incredible story and you're changing lives, but you had to start by changing your own. So I'm so excited that you're here on Master Mom Monday because you're truly such a master mom. But I want to talk about like, girl, you've been inside Mom Master University for how long? Like, like I think we've, we've grown up together, basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I am going to ballpark it and say, at least 10 years. Wow. Wow. Because ba- like you were telling me your son, how old is he now? 15. Okay. So he was just, he was just a little boy running around when you Absolutely. got inside MMU. He was just a tiny little boy, but Absolutely. okay. So what was life like? Let's go back. Yes. If we can like suspend reality for a moment and let's go back to before you got inside mom master university. Like if you could go back there, what was life like for you as the mom? before? I'm so glad you asked. Uh, I have this vision. I remember going to take my son to school and there was, there were these moms and they all had the big SUVs (laughs) and they would drop off in the morning and they would be in their workout attire, whether it was their tennis clothes or yoga looking, you know, just, but very pretty. The Lulu, the Lulu lemon ladies. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> and they would have their coffees and they would be standing in the parking lot. And I just remember looking, because this was, again, this was way before like Instagram and all that, but I had a, an actual real life situation where, and I would wonder how, how are they doing this? And then we'd go to the school plays and we'd go to the functions and they still look the same. And I thought, and I would think to myself, as I sat there, mostly sweating from being mm-hmm. running from somewhere and being so disorganized. And am I, you know, do I have the right things? And I would, I would just think, how are they doing this? And some of them, I had one kid, some of them, you know, that SUV door would open up and it'd be like five kids rolling out or three or four. I'm like, how is, how is this? How are they doing that? Yeah. And I just, it was just something like, I remember telling my son when he was little, as a joke, but I meant it seriously. Like when I left the hospital, I left your manual by accident. And they said that was the only one. (laughs) So, but you found your manual girl, you found your manual. But so it was like, so you were seeing these people and here's the deal, Cara. And I know, you know, this, but some Mm -hmm. people who are watching, listening may not, is we think, oh, I bet their personal life is messed up. Or I bet, I bet they're having their own like marriage issue. We're trying to tell ourselves that. Yes. <laughs> because you know, it'll make us feel better. Feel better. In our own state. Like, no, no, no. There are actually moms who are rocking their lives. Mm-hmm. But they're just, and here's the thing, they're not born like that. They have developed the skills and the strategies to get that done. But but Absolutely. we want to like say, oh well th- that's not real. Yeah it is. There are moms who are happy. There are moms who are productive. There are moms who are energetic and loving life and, and, you know, and rocking it. So you were seeing these moms Mm -hmm. and then like, what did you think? Did you think, well, that's not possible. Or did you think I wish that was my life or what did you think? I honestly wanted to just like walk up to one of them and say, Hey, you look like you've got everything together. What is the secret? I thought there's something that they're doing that I just don't know about. And so then I, as a lot of moms do, we go into the, let me figure it out. 
by doing everything. Yeah. But yeah. let me just and try doing it everything really sloppy. Absolutely. And gaining traction or what we think is traction in one area and something else is falling apart. Okay. And then we get a little it becomes bit of whack-a-mole. Yes. And then we get a little right. stuff here. Like we get all the laundry done and it's all folded and it's great. And then we have no groceries or we get all the bills paid and we get a budget. And then, you know, uh, you know, $250 bill shows up in the mail. Right. Right. And it's like this, you can't, like, you can't say it's like fighting the current. You can't stay yeah. ahead. You can't, and, you can't just go through life playing catch up. Yes. It's so stressful. And I just didn't know where to start. Like I, I didn't know, like, you know, where to focus. And that's yeah. when I got plugged into my master university because you have given us a focus and I kid myself and the focus is everything. <laughs> Hey, you know what? God said in all ways, right? He can give us all things that we ask, pray, believing you'll receive. And he said, now, if you just honor me with all your heart and, and follow me in all your ways, it actually can happen. And that's the thing that, that is so confusing for a lot of people because we're taught, no, 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 just niche down, focus, mm -hmm. get this one thing done. Yes. But just like you said, moms don't have that option. We are constantly spinning plates. So that's why I, I always call MMU like, okay, it's like that lazy Susan, like just stack mm -hmm. your plates on the system and then you can spin them all. Like that's, Absolutely. that's the strategy that you can use. But how did you even find out about Mom Master University? Well, prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Honestly, Thank prayer. you, Jesus. I remember just being in such a place where I looked at my life and I said, I've got this amazing husband. I've got an amazing job. I've got this, the son. I asked God for a son. <laughs> just keeping it real. I've got this child and I can't handle it. And I was, the term I use is overwhelmed by my blessings. Mm, wow. And I had a wow. home and I had all the things right. and I felt like I couldn't handle it. So I remember like literally seeing your program on television and it just, the way you were talking to the moms just seemed like so easy and it wasn't berating and it wasn't like, you know, let me do this for you. It was like, let me show you how you can make this happen for you. Let me give wow. you some tips and techniques, but how you can make it for you. And then I got involved in um, Crazy Blessed Bible Study. And I remember it was at night. And I remember that was the only time I had to myself was that I think it was like eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. And that was the only time I had for, for me. Yeah. And from there, that's when I got into the university and started going through the pillars. And that's when I figured out, okay, there are only six, there are only six areas in your entire life. That's it. That's it. Six. <laughs> and I was like, I can figure six things out. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It doesn't have to be things hard. In your entire life. Right. And right. I started in on, I believe it was the freedom track first, because I, so you know, for people I'm, who are like watching, oh, yes. the freedom track, and what she's talking about, we have six pillars mm -hmm. inside mom master university. We have the fortress, which is your home organization. We have fitness, which is your body finance. We, so every area, there's only six areas we got you covered. And so you started with the freedom, which is your emotional health. Absolutely. Okay. So tell me about like, what was it like getting started in that? Well, you know, here's the funny thing, Hannah. I, you know, it's one of those things. I went into, <laughs> I went into MMU playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> because when I looked at- A little at this, here, a little there. Yeah, I was like, well, let me try, let me see what this is training. Oh, let me see what this is training. And let me see what this is training. And everything is fabulous. But I said, okay, okay. But at the core of this, what's going on? Like where, where, where do I need the most growth? And 
spirit led to freedom. And what I realized is to get traction in anything, I had to get my emotions. Girl. And the, as you love to say, the Bob, Bob, the builder, I had to kick him out. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to stop. And here's, this is what I think trips up a lot of women, a lot of moms, a lot of just people is we, we say, okay, I'm doing this, 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 this. Okay. God, here's my list of all the things I'm doing. Now Now bless it. Now bless it. Now bless it. Right. Right. Can't you see me doing this? And can't you see me doing that? And can't you see me doing this? All right. Now you come in and touch it and make it all happen. And I was, I had it upside down. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I had it upside down. So I needed to get that pillar, get those, get my emotional state together so that I can even be open to receiving and hearing what his plan was for me. That's so true. That's what I tell moms. If they don't, if they don't know where to start, because some moms like, I need help everywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm like, then let's get your emotions in place. Like, like, let's get that internal Mm -hmm. emote, everything about your state. Let's get Mm -hmm. that straightened up. And then we can tackle all the other things, your fitness, your fortress, your finances, all those other things. And so that's that emotional freedom. Huh? It bleeds into all your other it areas. It does. It does. Literally. Literally. Yeah. I was not a mom that came into my master university that, you know, necessarily was a yeller or things like that. But I was always, I, ca- I called myself hovering at a 10, like yeah. distressed. Just everything was just, I was just always yeah. waiting for the other shoe to drop. And I will tell you a perfect example, just a recent example. Um, my son was not feeling well. And, um, he had a pretty significant nosebleed and it's pretty significant. We'll just put it to you that way. Yeah. Yeah. And the way I reacted versus how I would have reacted 10 years ago, I knew that was just from my training. Absolutely. I was like, okay, we're fine. We're going to breathe. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. I want you to breathe with me. And then let's see what's going down. So just having yeah. the skill to be able to bring him down. Right. That all came from everything I've learned. Oh, praise God. And when something like that happens, when, when a tragedy happens, when a crisis, when someone's sick or something, you don't have time to get your training. Like mm-hmm. that, like you, you need to get your training beforehand. And something very significant happened in your life about a year ago. Mm-hmm. What happened? Uh, well, about a year ago, again, once again, spirit led, I um, went to the doctor um, after having a, a perfectly fine mammogram in, in August of 2020 and was working out. This was January, January 2021, working out, and I felt something pinch me, like something pinched me. And I, after I finished working out doing yoga, I went looking for what pinched me, like in my clothes, like something pinched me, like, what is it? And I kept pressing and looking and I felt something in my breast. And I was like, that's weird. So quickly I made an appointment. I said, Hey, I know I just was there in August, but I need to come back. Something, some, I feel something weird. I was probably nothing, but I just want to feel something weird. And it, by February, actually February 10th, 2021, I got the diagnosis that there were quote cancerous cells that were detected. And I said, huh. And so this was over the phone because I requested, I said, just tell me over the phone, whether you, whether it's something or whether it's nothing. And uh, she called and she said, and I was working and she said, well, we've, we've detected some cancerous cells. And I said, okay. And I mean, I laugh now because I laughed then. And yeah. she said, uh, you know, well, we'll bring you in and, you know, we'll talk about it. And I said, okay. And she said, well, do you have any questions? And I said, well, no. And I think she thought I must have been crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy blessed. Because I wasn't but yeah. crying and I wasn't right, right. losing it. I was right. processing it. And yeah. when I got to the meeting, the, the initial meeting, this was two days later, and we went over all of the data. And I like to call it data because it yeah. just is what is on the piece it's of paper just at the time. That's it. Yeah. And I was at like, the time. Okay, this is the feedback. This is what we this is what we know at the time. And um she said, um, you know, so it's it's just it's a spiel that they have to go through and right. you know, 
And so she was like, do you have any questions and everything like that? And I said, well, here's what I know. I said, I'm not going to go digging into what happened and what did I do and all this, because I know I didn't do anything. And I said, so this is the start of a journey. And I already know that I'm going to have to walk through this journey, but I already know that I'm not alone. God's with me. It's going to be fine. And yeah. here I am almost a year out, completely cancer-free. Amen. Yes. 100% so cancer-free and yeah. was able to coach and keep the skills I've learned and maintain a high level of sanity. <laughs> yeah. 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 And you, I remember you telling me like immediately you knew what to do. You spoke to that cancer. I did. You operated in faith. Like, I don't even want to think about what would have happened if you had not had a decade mm-hmm. of training decade. inside Mom Master University to build up that faith and operate in that skill set so that when that, when you're like, okay, I know how to handle this. Yes. Spoke to it every day. Yeah. I said, you can't live here. I was like, you were evicted. And I actually said, um, you are eradicated like dust. And I had a vision because one of the trainings we talk about getting vision yeah, and with our affirmations training. And I had a vision in my head of a volcano exploding and the particles just going everywhere, just out. And I would yeah. lie in my bed and I would say, you can't live here. You are cast into the sea. You are gone. You are eradicated. You have no home here. And I would get this vision of just exploding. And when I had surgery um, months ago, I asked my physician, I said, I need to know details. I need to know what was there. I need to know what you saw. I need to know everything. And she said, there was no tumor. And I so said, beautiful. you say no tumor? Are you saying there was, because she said, well, when we go in, there's a possibility we could find a dead tumor. We yeah. could find basically remnants where it's no longer active, but it's still kind of there. We just take it out, yeah. clean up, clean up, you know, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And she said, there was nothing there. Praise God. There was Praise nothing God. there. And I said, all right, that is, I remember when you sent that message inside MMU. And our team here, like we, we pray for MMU moms. We pray for yes. our master moms every single day. And we saw that come through and we're like, okay, we're, we're standing for total healing. We're standing with Carr. We spoke over you. We believe with you and joined our faith with yours. And I am so grateful that years before God saw that coming down the road. And he said, you know what? We're going to start now. Mm-hmm. Let's get plugged in. Let's get your training. So that is just a spec. And you handle it. And mom has you have power. Such a safe space. Uh, right? Such like they're your women. Space. Yes. It's a safe space. And there's a camaraderie in there that are just women who want to help other women win. Right. Where do you find that? Yeah. Yeah. You're not finding that on, on like social media. It's like mm-hmm. one, it's like one up, one up, one up, one up. Always. I've got this always. now, and I've got this, and I've got this, and I've got this, and I'm a size two. Well, I'm a size zero. Well, I'm a size <laughs> double zero. Like you, you can't right keep up. It's but exhausting within the community within Mom Master University. It's like, you know what? Here's where I'm at, and women are like me too. Yes. <laughs> You know, me too. And then there's someone who say, oh, then let me help you. Let me help you. What I've can been I do there. for you today? How can I pray for you today? What do you, what do you need? Yes. Like this, these are the women you want in your corner. God did not design us to do life alone. No, mm. no. And if, well, and how are you doing it? And there right. is an answer. I've got yes. this going on. How do I handle it? What do I do? What are the action God. steps? So and good. it's laid out. And I think it's just so important for me as what drew me and keeps me in the university is there's always new training, always. Mm. There are trainings. I will tell you, Hannah, I have probably listened to the map training 10 times. It's so powerful. 10 times. And in the 10 plus years I've been with you to this day, I book in my day 
every yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. And my husband even said, you lay your clothes out on Saturday on Friday night for Saturday. Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I do because it becomes a habit and these yes. habits start to help us like sometimes they're hard to form at first, but that's why you have the map. If for people who are watching and listening to the map, that's like your, we call it mundane action plan, but it is your action plan on how to schedule your life and organize your day in a way that works with the mom brain. Yeah. And it's effective. It's powerful. Do you know, we've started every single mom who enrolls now, they get a planner, their quarterly planner and a drive with the entire map training on it. If they, if they literally get nothing else out of this, it, this will change. Right. Your life. Right. This will change your life. I'm telling you yeah. in the middle of chemo, in the middle of there, I stopped counting when I got to 72 doctor's appointments. I stopped counting. Wow. Wow. Seven, oh, so wow. I don't even know what it was. Yeah. I, I, literally, yeah. I started going back for yeah. funsies and I was like, I wonder how many doctor's appointments I've had since. The, and it was, I stopped counting at 72. Wow. But in the midst of that, I was like, this is how I start my day. And this is how I end my day. And yeah. if yeah. the middle of the day goes crazy. I've got, I can get your bookends. And it gave me that win that so I was good. so desperately just needing mm when my son was little, that win of, Hey, you know what? I don't have all my Lululemons, but you know what I do have? I have my dishes put away. That's my win. Thank you. Yes. I don't care that I can't hit the, you know, the Starbucks, but what I do have is at the end of the day, I have my day planned out or the, my evening planned out so that I have my morning set up. Right. So I it's am so powerful winning. And so, yeah. like you said, 10 years plus later, I get this diagnosis and it's like, okay, I don't know what this journey looks like. I don't know what these words mean. I don't know what these doctors do. I don't know all the, they, these teams of people. I don't understand any of it, but I'm going to set up my day and yeah. I'm gonna do my day and we'll figure so out good. the middle. So good. Figure so good. As long middle. as you can keep it contained that invites God's calming presence yes. in. And then it just, all of a sudden it has a piece about it. Yes. That moms need today. Well, I know we're wrapping up yes, this yes. interview, but I want to ask you one question. Absolutely. If you knew a mom, they come to you right now. It's like, car, I, I love that you've had such profound results inside mom master university. I'm just wondering, is it right for me? They're thinking about joining. What would you tell her? I would tell her that you know, and I know a lot of moms come and they're just burned out. And I would say, well, tell me all that you have tried. And they're going to go down a list. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, well, let's try something you haven't tried. If you're right. willing to, there's a, there's a theory about the 25 fails and it's like, I'm going to try these 25 things. And if this is one of the 25 things and you at least try it, at least try, at least try it. And okay. then, you mean, you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Beautiful. Cara, it's, it's so true. Moms need it today more than ever. And I want to thank you. Thank you. I want to thank past Cara for saying yes, yes to that future Cara, you right now, could be an example of what it means to be a master mom and living an extraordinary abundantly blessed life. Thank you so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm telling you guys when it's too late to prepare when the crisis happens, mm -hmm. get inside MMU now, just say yes, get inside, get your training so that when things happen and they will, God says you will have blessing with persecution. When persecution happens, Absolutely. adversity comes just like Kara, you're going to be ready and you're going to conquer it in the name of Jesus. And you, my friend, will be blessed like crazy.